I've been pushing the foot patrols and the vehicle stops. More foot patrols and traffic stops is what Baltimore City Police Commissioner Rich Worley says BPD is working on to bring more reductions in crime. Because the guns are being transported by guns, they're doing by cars, they're doing carjackings, um, so and stolen autos. His comments during the city council hearing on the group violence reduction strategy that involves police, the mayor's office of neighborhood safety and engagement, and the city state's attorney's office. The police department says homicides are down, non-fatal shootings are up. So youth violence has been a problem all year. We actually have 92 victims so far this year. That's what we had total last year. The department says car thefts are up 200%, but car jackings decreased 23%. The commissioner says three recent carjackings are raising concern. That's a new pattern that's emerging. We've only got three, but it's up in the, it was in, it was in the northwest where they're actually um, approaching young ladies who are at the gas pumps and trying to steal their vehicles. Um, and then we, we've tracked the carjackings with the young people. Um, we just made several arrests yesterday, and we continue to make, <clears throat> make the carjacking arrests, and we continue to make the gun arrests. And the commissioner says ATF and other federal partners have set up a task force to help police track guns, including ghost guns. To look in where the guns are coming from, and they're going to start giving us a report to enter in, in, within the department that's going to track down the gun from the from where it was purchased to how it got to Baltimore. We're working together not only on the Bowie incident, but the Morgan incident, helping in reference to the casings um, found on both scenes. Now, Councilman Mark Conway asked about city residents having an overwhelming sense of insecurity when it comes to crime in Baltimore. The commissioner says he believes that perception will change and people will feel safer with more officers on the streets. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News.